Welcome to Suzuka. It's definitely one of the best tracks on the F1 calendar, so uh, let's have a look around. The Suzuka track was also designed by a Dutchman called uh, John Hugenholz. Suzuka has been the scene of many great battles. Robo 12, activate. Actually, what I mean is battle for F1 titles, especially between Arton Senna and Alain Prost. Yeah, so turn one is already very special because you arrive above 300 with a lot of fans around. So it just gives you a great atmosphere of the track. From there on, yeah, you go into the S curves. I think one of the best sections in the world because with very high speed, you go through it. You need to find the right rhythm. And from there on, we go to the Dunlop curve. And then you go into the Tankner curve, which is also a very tricky one because it's not much runoff and you will end up in the wall because it's, it's such a hard track, very old school and uh, it's still very enjoyable. Uh, from there on, yeah, you go under the bridge and then you end up into the, the hairpin. Very tricky braking because you're still turning to the right before you turn to the left. From there on, there's a long straight with a bit of a curve, but it's easy full throttle for an F1 car. And then you arrive to the spoon curve, uh, also very famous on, on track. It's a very narrow track, and then it brings you up to the main straight before you arrive to the 130R, which is full throttle as well. It's the first time I did my Friday practice there in the Formula 1 car. I was a bit scared, I would say, the first few laps. Um, and then, yeah, you end up into the last chicane. Before, you, you definitely need to build up your confidence there in the braking because you arrive from 320 kilometers an hour. And then on the exit, you see like a big wheel for all the fans. And again, yeah, hopefully that will be a very good lap.